Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to uh, episode 2 of Let's Fix It. Uh, what you're seeing is a chest of, well, a drawer bit out of a chest of drawers, and this just contains a bunch of bits that used to belong to a Dell uh, Latitude C600, which is an old computer from to around 1999. Um, so let's uh, organise bits here. Uh, put the big parts, like the screen, down where screens usually live. Um, sadly, uh, due to complications in the recording um, part area of the episode one, it's corrupted most of my video files I recorded. Uh, don't use webcam.io. Uh, they are. Well, they have to be the worst uh, form of webcam recording ever. So just don't use them. They are absolutely awful. Uh, every video you will record will come out corrupted and unusable. Um, so what happened today is I received a new uh, bit from eBay. Uh, so, let's open the back here. Uh, this part came free from Solent Spares. Solent Spares are amazing. Uh, they have parts for every type of computer imaginable. Uh, they might have, uh, uh, lap they have Mac parts, I think. Uh, it came from Silent Spares, we'll just cover up all the uh, important stuff. You can see down here, it came from Silent Spares. It cost me £14.27, pence, free postage. And, uh, and I got myself a motherboard. Uh, the board itself is in really good condition, uh, the battery hasn't leaked at all, none of the ports are broken or damaged. This is a different type board, so this doesn't have the little fan at the back that most C600s have, so I won't be able to use this fan here, which is annoying. Also, I have uh, changed the fan off of the board, this is the, uh, this is the original fan that came in the board, it's a centrifugal one but I replaced it with an axial fan. Um, yeah, so let's get rid of all of these extra parts that we don't need. And let's start with the uh, bottom piece, which is just a solid chunk of plastic with some mechanical bits to release the drives and whatnot. Uh, they are all lubricated and functioning fine. Yep, all of the buttons are working fine. So let's open up my little Google uh, repair guide thing, or reassembly guide, and uh, continue on from there. So whilst that's doing its thing, we're gonna have a look at um, we're gonna have a look at uh, the board itself. Um, it has one of these Varta batteries in it, one of these uh, uh, NICAD batteries that usually appear on these old systems. These are absolute garbage. I don't like these at all. They're absolute trash. But this, I think, is a replacement battery, so I will give it, cut it some slack. It didn't come with a little, it didn't come with a free com adapter, a little modem card. So we won't be able to use that. But, we do have a bunch of components that I didn't think <laughs> came. It comes with a processor, 750 MHz Pentium 3 processor. It, comes, it came with a fan although, and a heatsink. It turns out I didn't really need to swap the fan over, but I preferred the axial type fan. I'll swap it back over if... Uh, if all, all else fails. So, let's start with the bottom bit. So we've got the bottom piece here, and what we're going to do is we're going to take our motherboard, 
assembly. And considering I figure out how to do this, I think it just slots in here. I am very uh, bad with these <laughs> Pentium 3 Dell laptops. It's, oh, in fact, well, it was my fault that this thing broke in the first place. Um, so you can insert speakers in either side. That should fit. I think this also came with um, the little uh, drive bay blanking slot, so we effectively don't need this one because it's an extra part. Uh, so let's insert the other screw on this side, which just appears to just slot in place. And I think you just gotta. Uh, channel these, uh, I believe these are Wi-Fi antennas, if I am not mistaken. Hmm, interesting. It looks like we've got our board in, fully seated, there we go. That looks like it should be here. And there is a small uh, M2.5 times 5 Inch screw. Uh, so let's get our little centerpiece that I use in my videos now. This will be in shots from now on because I kind of think this is a little s centerpiece thing, if you know what I mean, uh, for for this. Um, yeah, a little centerpiece for our, our new video series, which should be more reliable from now on because I'll be using a different computer to do this. So. Assuming this is seated, we need to get our screw set out. This is by Fandway. You can buy these on Amazon. These are very cheap but good quality. So we need, uh, according to the guide, we need M two point five times five. M two point five times five. M two point five five. So that's down here. So we need one of these. And considering that is the correct screw, there we go, it should go in there without any difficulty. Securing our motherboard in place. So, if we flip the board over, like it mentions in the guide, uh, it says uh, we need M2.5 times 5 screws, there'll be 9 of them over in this corner. Um, Two, three, four. No, no, that's that's just three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that should be enough. So we're going to start with all these screws up the top here. So you want to go in where it says B, capital letter B. In fact, I'll show it up to the camera. It right here. It should say the letter B around this area. That will be where you put your cord screws in. Fingers crossed. If I've done it right, it should go in well. Yeah, it should just go in without fault. So there'll be three in that corner, and then a few members down, there'll be a hole here, also marked with B. There'll be two at the back. So 
So you would have done one, two, three, four, five, six. You would have done six screws at the moment. Uh, seven, eight, nine. So the last three, we're going to need this little frame here. This little frame. And this clips over the fan assembly. God knows what it's actually used for. Oh no, I, I see what it's used for now. It's to level out the uh, plastic, because the plastic dips down. Looking at it from that angle. Plastic dips down, so it'll look different. That's unusual, I haven't noticed that. Okay, so now you've got your, your big screws in. Um... Yeah, something about the service tag. Um, the service tag on this has been rubbed off, so no big deal. I just used the tag that came with this motherboard. Uh, it's locked to the BIOS, so only the BIOS on this computer or on this motherboard will hold the uh, service tag. Now, when I dealt with this machine, I'll add a sticky thing on the bottom. Uh, to sort that out. Uh, microprocessor module, all the fan stuff is to dealt is dealt with. Palm rest. Palm rest, palm rest, palm rest. Where is our palm rest? Oh, it's down here. That's lovely. Okay, palm rest time. So we're gonna I think it says it locks on here, apparently. Okay. I'm gonna plug in the plug for it. Um, let me just uh, figure out how to do this. I haven't really uh, worked on these Dell C-series machines before. Um, in fact, this isn't. Uh, I don't think this is the right board for the system. But, what do you do? I've got one. Um, it's held on, so we're going to turn the computer over, and there are three M25 12mm screws labelled with a circle P, uh, which I see down the bottom corner, both here on the edges. So we need to find the 12. Do we have 12mm screws? Do we? Hmm. Well, I'll just grab the longest. I'll grab eight. Eight should be done. Eight should be good enough. Nope, eight are not good enough. So we need the 12 inch screws, which I don't have. Um, I wonder if. Ooh, looks like we've got some. No. Mm. We've got one at least. We'll put them all. We'll put these in where I feel they need to live, because areas that are overly loose, like yeah, this corner here, that's really loose. So we're going to insert that screw. Like that, and then that should just be locked in place like that. I want to squeeze that to fit in there. Lovely. So there'll be those 12mm screws, three of them, if you've got three of them. Sadly, I don't have many of any of them, so one I'll have to do. If you're following this to repair a computer, don't. This is not the way you're supposed to do it. Uh, I believe all of these require 12-inch long screws. Yeah, they all require 12-inch. Ah! That's annoying. So, M2 12. The look at, uh, okay, so we've got two, um, M2 dash, uh, sorry, M2 times 33 millimeter screws that are located in the hard drive bay. So, we need to find M2.53. M2.5. M2, M2.4. Hmm. I've got 3.5 and 4. 
So one is just, just below, and then just beyond. Oh. Computer went to sleep. I hope that's not going to do it during the video. Okay, the 3.5 aren't going to work, so I'm going to have to, um, M23. Oh, let's just try the one that actually says 3. This is just M2, not 2.5. I'm presuming, yeah, if I just push down on it, it'll lock in. So we'll need two of those. Let's lock in there and there. Okay. And um, there, there are three on the bottom of the case. Which are the two I can't install due to the lack of owning them. Two M two three millimeter screws that are located on the back. Okay, so we did turn that machine on onto the bottom. Locator on the back edge. I don't see any more screws marked P. This is extremely annoying. I really don't like reading from scripts when I do videos, but looks like this is this is raw footage. This is how it happens. I, I, I don't really see the point of video editing unless someone interrupts me. Okay, remove the back hinge cover and display assembly. So oh, I don't know. We got to follow this from the backwards up. So we plugged in the palm rest. We've put in the thing underneath the keyboard on the right side of the bottom case assembly next to the processor cooling. Okay, so there's a screw over near the CPU fan assembly which I see right there. There it is. So what is that? That's M2-3. M23, which oddly enough is the same one I used last time. Weird. Okay, I'm gonna insert that there. Uh, I don't really have anything to rant about, so I'll just be reading from a script. I guess I can be ranting about stuff as I go along. Uh, yeah, the first time I bought this computer, this stopped working when I tried... Well, it just didn't work from day one. It would blink some LEDs on the side and the top and shut back off. So I was thinking, okay, motherboard failure. So I took the old board out and chucked it away. Annoyingly, I obviously didn't think that this was a, an issue. I thought this was a collateral disaster and I'm never gonna this is never gonna work for me ever but it turns out I was wrong okay uh, M23 which are located on the back edge of the bottom case assembly underneath the display assembly where? oh! Here and here, but they are M2, so the same ones here, but unfortunately there is a brass standoff missing from one side, so I can't put that one in. I can only put this one in. Here we go, that'll fit fine. M2.5 dash. Okay, so turn it over and put the two, three M2 that secure the palm rest of the bottom case assembly. So these are M2 three millimeter again that secure it to the bottom of the palm rest assembly. Where are you then? That's unusual. Unless they're inside the board area. No. Hmm. Unusual. I don't see these screws anywhere. I guess these don't matter then. Or have I already done them? M23, which are located in the hard drive bay, we've done. The M12, I only have one of, but we've done the, the loosest side. Um, yes, so those are the M212 assemblies. Yeah, we've done that correctly. Uh, screen time! So this is like the HPDV6 that we did in episode 1. 
which still won't come out yet because I'm still trying to fix the bloody uh, video files that got corrupted. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bend the hinges up on this and uh, clip out the hinge covers from the back of the display. Now, God. <laughs> Man, these old computers really do pack a punch. It's like this doesn't want to come off. And this is like right with the... Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Unless I shove the whole assembly in into the top. And then lower the display down and lock it shut. Like it shows there. And then take it off? I think that's how they do it. Nah. I don't like that. Looks like I'm going to have to actually remove it. Oh, this is shite. I don't like that. Oh, okay. Um, righty. Let's take this off without the rest of the computer attached to it. Oh, oh yeah, it's it's just the display cables wrapped tightly around the uh, hinge. That's that's ingenious, really. I like that. Oh, page is refreshed. I don't like that. Scroll back down to the bottom, and let's get back to where we were. <laughs> Palm rest assembly, okay, we've done that. Display clutch covers. Okay, so we've taken them both off. Um, they could, presuming we just shove the display right in there. Well, yep, looks like it. And one of them goes on the left, and the other goes on the right. This is the one that goes on the right, this is the one that goes on the left. There we go. There's one in. I believe this one, after a little bit of coaxing. Shoot. Um. No. Hmm. Okay. Looks like I have actually snapped something off on that side, so it looks like. Hmm. Take the other one off. Have a look at it. Hinge cover. So, oh, they're la <laughs> they're labelled. Hmm. No, they're not. Mine ain't labelled. Huh. Guess this is a different computer then that they're using for illustrative purposes. Yeah. Um. BR1 and BL. Oh no, they are labelled, they're just labelled differently. So L and R. So L goes over here. And turns out that the bit that goes down lower is aimed towards me. Um Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just uh, we're gonna screw this display in first. So, display assembly latch, we don't need to take that off. Feed flex cable. No, that's taking the screen apart, we don't need to take that out. Removing the display panel, yes, we've got to unplug it from the board, yes, yada yada yada. Okay, how to take it off? So we're going to take that cover off, which we've already done, well we did that years ago. EMI shield bracket and all that gubbins and crap, uh, moving around. Okay. We need 5 M2.5-5, M2.5-5, which are down here, these big boys. We need 5 of them, 5, 5, just see how many my screwdriver picks up. Yep, we'll do that, many, looks more than 5, but whatever. And we're going to screw our display assembly in, so this is starting to look more like a laptop now. Uh, personally, I love these. These 
Dell C series. I love them, but unfortunately, mine doesn't come with a f uh, the extra fan for the graphics card. Well, my replacement board doesn't. Uh, but it's all I could afford. I am not paying eighty six pounds for a motherboard that has less than what this came with. This came with a processor. The eighty six pound one didn't. Yeah, the 86 pound one came with absolutely nothing. And I'm I'm so happy that it, this came with more than I needed. Uh, there are no plugs or electrical contacts for that little fan to plug into. I could add them in with my soldering iron, but... Do I really want to risk destroying the board is the question. No. So, yeah, we've done the things in, so we can now plug the display cable in, a little bit the same way as the DV6. Um, and then M2-3, M2-3, so a couple of these, so we're gonna... Take two of those. We need the uh, the EMI shield cover, apparently. Uh, it goes... This way around. There we go. I'd get there eventually. No, I'd get there eventually. Alrighty. Um, now, this may not power on instantly. May not turn on at all. But that is purely because we don't have a legit Dell PA6 adapter. And... I don't think the older model Dells take lightly to being plugged into, well, charges they're not made for. So they will either stop working, or they'll kill themselves in a way, or something. Okay, so we've installed the EMI shield, great. We've installed the screws on the back, great. Uh, now, following the guide we did previously, We need to install the left and R, so L and R. These are really flimsy due to the plastic's age. Over time, it, it gets weaker. It's, it's like the classic thing with vintage Macintoshes. Uh, they will break. The plastic on them will crumble over time. Uh, PowerBook 140, or the, the whole 100 series, is known for having that done to them. Uh, okay, so this is on the other side, so we need to look at it from this point of view. So if I just lift up the system and turn it to that point at the camera point of view, like that. Okay, so the longer thing needs to go down like oh so it needs to be facing this way around yeah, well, I think that's on okay back to removing the display okay so we've taken the screen off well we put the screen back on keyboard connector time so it's the keyboard which I'm worried the most about um, keyboard's back here. Uh, you're probably noticing that I'm using a different computer this time for the webcam. Uh, it's because my ThinkPad doesn't have enough storage left in its hard drive, so I had to resort to using the HP DV6 I fixed in the last episode. Um, yeah. Uh, hold on. Did I not plug that in? I don't think I did. Um, yeah, I didn't plug it in. Yeah, don't be an idiot. Don't don't be like me. Don't be a moron and not plug your keyboard connector in. Because, uh... I didn't. Hmm. What the hell are you supposed to... Oh, I'm plugging it in the wrong way around, that's why. Just, uh... Nudge this speaker connection out of the way, you know. Deroute it. Move it away. 
once we install our keyboard. Now that's really pinching up on that cable. What if we unplug it temporarily from here? Just move this away. Move this away ever so slightly from from the board area. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that won't be able to go back over. Well, it won't be able to go over. We can go around it. There we go. Plug that back in. And our keyboard should be installed. I'm just going to route or bunch up our cable at least. Uh, so then we're going to fold it back over. It mentions something about the scalloped edge of the screwdriver. Do we need that? No, we don't. Not, not, well, not really. Anyway. There we go. That should be locked in. Uh, centre control cover provides more... Oh, that's... The centre control cover is the little plastic bit that goes at the top which covers all the buttons and gubbins and stuff. Removing the keyboard assembly should be simple. Hmm. Simple, alrighty. Let's uh, see exactly how simple this is. Oh yes, all the K keys. Now... Uh, keyboard assembly. M2.512 labelled circle K. Uh, that's a lot of 12 screws. I don't have any 12s left, so we can't screw the keyboard in place. So we're just going to have to rely on gravity to hold it in. Damn. Alright. We'll have to come back to this one day. The mini PCI connection. We don't have a mini PCI because I stupidly didn't take the old one off the old board. Replacing the memory modules. Uh, now is the fun part. Now I need to determine what RAM goes in this thing. Because I haven't sorted out the modules. I just took the whole bag. Uh, what's this? Oh. One gigabyte. That's probably not for that computer. That sounds for something way newer. Uh, oh, we've got two whole pieces of RAM. Damn, all right, okay. Two whole pieces of RAM. Shove them in there. Lovely, so those are inserted. We can just shove all the other parts, which I believe were ripped out of an old compact network. Uh, shove them back in that gap there. And then the memory door, which is over here. That just... It says it should go in here. I guess so. Alright, it needs a flathead blade. It's unusual. Okay, have it your way. Screw them in like that. Okay, screwed in. And there's another keyboard. <laughs> there's another keyboard uh, screw that's supposed to go through there. We don't have that. Uh, okay, replacing the hard drive. We didn't have a hard drive, so we're just going to bung this cover back on. Uh, it should be something along the lines of. This pulls down or something, this pops up. This is some sort of mechanical. There we go. It's just a little bit seized due to being in a chest of drawers in the kitchen most of its life. The hands really is stiff. Okay, um. Okay, screw that back over like that. Uh, it's M3.5, so I need M3.5, M3. yeah, MP3.5, uh, all we've got is M33, and I'm using the wrong tip, uh, yeah, M3.3 is going to have to do, until I can maybe scavenge another dead machine for parts, nope, 
that unfortunately ain't gonna that ain't gonna work at all. That's actually stuck in there now. Oh, yeah, that's that's now stuck in there. Okay, we'll do. We'll bother with that as soon as we've uh, dealt with. I think I can just pull this up, can I? Yeah, that that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we don't have the right screw that goes in there. Frustratingly, but we might have one. Yeah, I think you're. Yes, you, my friend. You look like M35. Screw down like that. Screw down like. No? Okay. Okay, what else we got? Got a bunch of those. Uh, I think these were 2.5s. Let's have a look. There you go now. Um, well we do have a bunch of screws that I believe came off the old board, so we can have a muck about with all these and see what goes, what fits. So let's throw this, this is longer, thinner, nope. How about this? No, this, 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 no, I don't think any of these are going to work. Nope. Come on. You've got to be it. You've got to be the one. Nope. Uh, this might sound stupid, but you're in an overly long screw. No, you're too long and too thin. Uh, all right, let's try this. This is a thicker screw, but longer. Okay, no. Turns out none of these screws in here uh, even remotely go to what I want. Ugh, that's annoying. And they say that it's a screw kit for all laptops. That is, excuse my language, bull****. So, yeah, that's... Fandway, they're good, the screw kits are good, but not perfect. Because they don't have all the screws I need. And I think lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to install this uh, clutch cover. I don't know why they call it a clutch cover, because there's, there's no clutch mechanism, so it's... It's not like a VCR's clutch mechanism, there's physical gears and stuff. It's just a plastic thing that goes over the hinge. Oh, clutch cover. Oh, it's the cover for the... It, the oh, I see. Alright. Outsmarted by Adele. Not the singer, the computer. I'd probably be easy, able, easy to outsmart Adele. Um, oh yeah, and you can fold these over. Right, lovely. Uh, this is the hard drive bracket which we can't use, so that you can go, you can hide in there. We can't use that bracket because we don't have a hard drive. But as soon as we get a hard drive and some more screws, we'll be able to continue. Besides, all these screws are insertable on the exterior side, so we don't need to pull the whole computer apart again just to change a screw. Unlike some. But, okay, our screws go in there. This should be our doubt. Oh no, no, I'm forgetting something. I'm forgetting the unknown speed CD DVD ROM drive. There you go, you're locked in now. The battery is also supposed to go in there, but I don't have one. Threw it out. Because it doesn't work. Uh, let me just come around. I don't have any other spare parts. Uh, aside from all the bits I've ripped out of the old machine. Um, righty. Now it's the scary part, which is the testing stage. Uh, what have we got? It's uh, 20 volts at 3.5 amps. Uh, now, I don't have the original Dell charger, I've got this SunVision universal power supply. Its output, DC-wise, uh, 
19.520... 20 volts. It says output 20 volts. And this says, what does it need? He says, I need 3.5 amps. I wonder if 3.5 amps is the universal output for chargers. See, I've got a Lenovo ThinkPad here, which is the old camera computer, but this is absolute piece of garbage. But don't tell the computer that it'll stop working on me. Right, what does it say? It, oh, it's in Japanese. 3.25 amps, or 4.5. 3.25 or 4.5, and this is 3.5. So it's 4.5 or 3.5? 3.25. Weird. Okay. Uh, it's not a universal uh, voltage around the world, obviously, because we all take different plugs. Us, personally, we use this style. Uh, righty. We're going to bump this bad boy up from 19 to 20 volts and see if the charger is enough to get it going. Jammed in, that's why. Uh, okay, oh, hang on. I've got to put the screwdriver back in. See, this is the best part. Usually, professional repairmen, they don't have this little jokey session like I do. Because my li cause their lives ain't comedy. My life is an absolute comedy. Everything I try to do right goes wrong. So this might not even work. But we've got the RAM. That's all it needs. We've got the CPU, the GPU, the RAM, screen, all those bits. I should be able to go into the BIOS at least. Okay, that you're on 20 volts, the PA6 style adapter. My heart is in my throat. Sh should we do this? Should we do this? Uh, have we got everything? Ready? Yeah, okay, ready for a smoke test. Three, two, one, smoke test. Okay, power is in, no going back now. There's no charging LED. Alright. Oh, Dell Latitude C600! It works! Look at that! Holy sh! The board was dead! Invalid configuration program. Please run setup program. I will gladly run setup for you, my bruv. Righty, control L, delete. Oh, this keyboard feels really weird. Beeping at me, boy! You're beeping at me! Hmm? <laughs> I try not to make my computer feel threatened. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, power light shows up. Hard drive indicator, there's no power, there's no... Well, this did have a hard drive in it, but I nicked it and put it in an HP laptop. I will bug my dad to buy me a hard drive, because granddad is... Granddad doesn't need to spend any more money. Yeah, dad can buy me a ID hard drive. He can buy me a lot of six, actually. Put your money to good use, please, man. Uh, I button. What do you do? You do... You do F all. Alrighty. Press F2 to run the setup utility. Let's do this thing. Oh, the backlight is actually slightly dodgy in one corner. Look at that. Oh, it's starting to buckle out now. Does this CD drive work? Oh, look at that. It works. Righty, now let's point the camera to where it can see and keep my hands out of the way. Okay, so the time is zero zero. Well, yeah, time is. One minute past midnight. Recording that. Uh, it's 17.49, so let's change that to 17.49. Uh, 17. Oh, yeah. No, moving along. No, no. There we go. No, that's what? Okay, let's change the, uh, the date first. So it's April the 9th, 2009, and according to this laptop, it's 0407. So you need to go 04. No, hang on. Oh. What? Down is forward, up is down. I don't know how this BIOS works. Okay, April, May, June, July. It's July. Okay, we're going to leave that. It's Monday. No, it's not. It's the 7th. So let's update that to 7. July the 7th, 2020. So it says it's Tuesday. That can't be right. That can't be right. 0407. January, February, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Oh, that's seven. It's 04. That's right. 
0.04. There we go, now it's Saturday. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. King wrong. It's, it's currently 1750. 50, 50, 50, 50. 1751. 17. No, no, no. Se no. Facts. 17. 17. 51. Yes, that's correct. 1751. And the set this. Shit. Go back! Okay, 1751, 05. Okay, this time will be off anyways. I can't be able to save it. Okay, we've saved the date setting. So, page 1 of 6. Change values, Alt-P for page. Alt-P. Ooh, squealing at me now. Uh, first boot device, diskette, then internal HDD. I don't like that settings at all, so we're going to... Modular bay, no. We're going to change that to CD, DVD, RW drive. Modular bay, HDD, PCI slot. Last bus can be none, because we don't need that. DD, DVD, card bus, internal hard drive. Okay. Boot post minimal. Does. I don't know. Boot speed is 750 MHz, CPU serial number disabled. What? No, enable that. Enable it! Enable. Uh, diskette reconfigured any time already. Docking Ethernet is enabled, enabled, enabled. Uh, well, I don't have a dock for this, so we don't need to bother too much about that. Okay, Alt P, next page. Serial port, COM1, infrared data port is disabled. Let's turn that bad boy on, I like it. COM1, fast IR, yes, full duplex, whatever. Click volume, keyboard click. Clicking sound, what? Oh, it sounds like I'm using an Atari 2600 here. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, we'll leave that enabled for the, you know, the 90s nostalgia of the Dell C600. Alrighty. Scroll lock on boot. Uh, it's in USB legacy. Well, uh, scroll, scroll lock doesn't come on. Immediately the thing comes on. Pointing device, yes. Dock video card. Primary video device. Well, like, ATI RAID. Can I change that? System. Yes. No, I want parallel mode, normal, bi-directional, ECP, disable. I think it said ECP, I'm not sure. I'll have to look back at the footage and change it. Uh, okay, no. Uh, mini PCI device isn't installed, but I can't change it because there isn't one installed. Okay, Alt P, next page. Battery not installed, battery not installed. What? You can have two batteries in this thing? Wow! Guys, this is amazing. You can put two batteries in this. This could be a keep surprising me. Right, we're gonna only need one battery because the CD drive is gonna be here. So. Right. I'm presuming I can't do anything on this page. Alt P. Brightness on battery is the lowest I've seen in my life. What is that? Power management is enabled. Display timeout is. We're gonna have it like halfway. Halfway to you guys. Right, let's see how many bars there are. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So we can take eight, seven, six, five, four. There we go. Halfway. Power management is enabled. Display timeout four minutes. Disable, disable, disabled. Enabled and suspend, suspend. Yes. Ring event resume. So that's for the uh, modem, but the modem won't work because we don't have a modem. Oh, the fan comes on. That's something that's never happened before. Alarm resume. Wake up on LAN and Intel speed step one. Wake up on LAN. Mm, yes. Auto on mode. No, we don't want auto on. That scares the living crap out of me when my computer suddenly randomly starts turning on. No, we don't need passwords. The last time I had a BIOS password was annoying. ESS Maestro 3. You're the stupid driver that I had trouble with on the RM, aren't you? Damn. Okay. Oh, there we go. The smell of hot vintage plastic. I like that. Either that or the graphics chips over here. Oh, I don't know. Video controller, ATIM3. Da, 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 da. Serv ah, there we go. There's our service tag. So we've got to uh, print a little label and stick that on the outer chassis. So we know that. BIOS version is A09. We don't need a BIOS version because it says C600. So we don't need to change the BIOS. 
Copyright, Dell system, asset tag is not installed, we don't need an asset tag because this isn't a commercial machine, this is a home machine. Date is correct, time is correct, righty, escapes exit. No, well, no bootable device is found. So, really we can't do anything beyond this step. As soon as I get some more screws, a battery, a hard drive, a bank card, a few more parts, we'll get this bad boy going. But for now, the power side of things is working. You can see the screen is on, the lights are on. My new fan is spinning. The little fan at the back I can't install sadly I wanted to install that little fan oh, we couldn't do that I'm afraid but maybe in the future I'll get my soldering iron out and my, or maybe my solder glue and we'll put some components and our little what's it called a little plug a little fan plug and we can plug our little fan in and screw it in it'll be modding the motherboard but whatever we fixed it the Natitude C600 is now on the well it will still be on the broken shelf for now, but it will be on the working shelf very soon. Thank you all for watching, and like, comment, subscribe. This is episode 2 of Let's Fix It. If you want to see more, smash the like button, and I will get back to you with episode 3, which is something that isn't a laptop, ch uh, a, a laptop, or a computer, or anything for that matter of fact. It's different, and I'm not going to tell you. Well, I probably already gave it away. Yes, it is a laptop charger, but what one? Ooh, that's a mystery. I'll let you find out, but thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See you soon.